Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. I'd like for you to say hello to my most beautiful rib eye you've ever laid your eyes on. Perfectly cooked with butter, garlic and thyme plus rosemary herbs. Please join me on how to perfectly cook steak in my kitchen, shall we? First, thaw the steak in the fridge overnight if it's frozen. The next day, before you start prepping and cooking the steak, leave meat out to room temperature for about 35 to 40 minutes. Then, using paper towels, pat both sides of the steak dry. Then, season it with ground black pepper both and along the sides. A pinch of salt if desired. All you need is a few ingredients, a good quality rib eye, black peppers, unsalted butter, a little bit of cooking oil, garlic and herbs, a sheet of pan with rack and a cast iron skillet. Next, preheat oven to 200 Fahrenheit and bake the steak uncover for one hour. Make sure to turn timer on. After one hour, let the meat rest for a couple of minutes while you heat a medium cast iron skillet over medium high heat until very hot, about one to two minutes. Add canola oil, butter, half teaspoon dry thyme, and crushed rosemary. Let the butter melt and cook herbs for a few seconds. Then place the steak in the middle of the skillet and cook each side for 2-3 to three minutes until a dark crust has formed on both sides and a minute along the sides of meat. Don't cook the steak more than 3 minutes if you like medium rare, 4 minutes if you like medium, 5 minutes if you like medium well, and 6 minutes if you like to ruin the steak. Reduce heat to medium low. Add butter, garlic, more of thymes and rosemary to opposite side of the skillet. Tilting the skillet towards the butter and cooking until butter is foaming, about 30 seconds. While cooking the other side of meat, carefully spoon butter over steak for about a minute Make sure to reach the internal temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit for medium rare or until desired doneness. As a reminder, do not cook steak for more than 5 minutes, each side unless you like to eat tough meat. When done cooking, transfer the steak on a rack and let the meat rest for 10 minutes before slicing. Also, make sure to turn your timer on. You don't want to serve cold steak. Serve immediately with the sides of steamed vegetables. 
potato salad or whatever you decide to eat the steak with. Add some of your favorite low sodium steak sauce or serve just as is. All right, folks, dinner is served. And thank you for watching the Insulted Kitchen channel again. If you like this video, then hit like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updates for new videos. Also, I would love to read your comment, so please tell me of what you think about this video. See you later. Bye!